Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing at the Madden cheese as always. Got some passing plays for you guys today. A really glitchy scheme out of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers playbook. A couple of videos back, I started saying that eventually I'm going to get away from the pistol playbook and start using the more traditional team playbook. Uh, and I said I was going to use the Niners, uh, mostly because I'm familiar with it. But I really got to be honest, I really think that I'm going to move on to the Buccaneers. The Buccaneers is one of the best passing playbooks in the game. I've already been using it uh, in a lot of gameplays that are going to be coming out pretty soon. And I'm finding more and more treasures as I as I dig deeper into this. So expect a lot out of the Buccaneers. This might be my official playbook here moving forward for maybe like a month or so. I typically like spend like a month in a book and then I try to move on so I can have as much, um, you know, as much stuff out there, as much variation out there as possible. Uh, but the formation I'm going to be rocking today is out of the Gun Bunch Halfback Strong had a lot of people requesting uh, gun bunch stuff. Uh, I know that's one of the meta formations right now. This is what the Packer or the uh, the Buccaneers have, uh, and I'm going to show you a couple of really glitchy plays. Uh, specifically, the Bucks drive. That's going to be one, and the second one is going to be the PA bunch shot. I'm going to show you how to home run just about every defense in the game with just these two plays. As always, I will have uh, some extra plays, some additional plays from this on my Patreon on my Join Now community tab. So if you guys want to check that out, links in the description below or just hit the join now community section let's go ahead the first one to me that's the most glitchy play out of all these is the bucks drive there's two routes on this play that you can consider super glitchy routes so i'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pick that i'm gonna start off like i traditionally do i'm gonna start off with uh, tampa 2 and work my way back before i get this video as always i just want to give a shout out to my coin sponsors at moxp.com if you guys want to get your mud team up like mine i'm currently rocking a 97 uh check them out link in the description below and use discount code money shot to get five percent off now as far as this play goes i think the most you know impressive part of this play is the route on the left the uh the x route there but when it comes to cover two for whatever reason this rb route um just really Really does it dirty i don't have to make any adjustments and this is essentially a very easy one play touchdown against cover two zone with no adjustments at all now there's adjustments that i can make i find that if i put the um you know if i streak the a route i put the b route on an out route all these things uh they they tend to have uh some effectiveness as far as creating openings but you don't have to do any of them so you can run it as is and it's a very good play against cover two zone so i just wanted to show that route first uh, but ultimately, I think that the other route, one on the other side of the field, the single route by itself, is probably what's the more impressive part of this play. So I'm going to go to pick Bucks Drive again on the defensive side. They do have that 3-3-5, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pick it. I'm going to pick the Mike Blitz 0. This is a defense I'm running into a lot online. So a lot of people run this defense. They don't necessarily send the blitz. Some send the blitz. Uh, some basically just drop their you know flats into like 20s, 25s, whatever. They're not going to have time to cover this route, the route on the left here, the X route. So that's one of the things that I like about this particular play um, is it's pretty instant. You know, if you get the right look, if you get the right, um, you know, the timing of the throw down properly, you're going to have one of the easiest one play touchdowns against cover one or cover zero you're going to have in this game. Now let's go and let's go to the replay real quick to show you what to look for because I think a lot of people are going to have trouble throwing this on timing. You basically want to throw this uh, a lot like a lot of man beaters. When this guy has his back turned, the second he makes that break, you can see there's instant separation. Now, if if you throw this late, you're going to be throwing interceptions. If you throw it too early, you might have that same problem. This is a very timing heavy, timing reliant uh, passing play. So you have to make sure that you get this timing down or else you're not going to be, it's not going to be working the way you're expecting it to. I'll show you what I'm talking about. I'll show it, I'll throw it a little bit late. I said I wait for that cornerback and he essentially catches up and you can see it's an interception. I did get sacked also. But like I said, this is a very timing heavy play. So let's do this one more time. Like I said, I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll throw it. Though there I threw it a little bit. I threw that on time by, by mistake because to be honest with you, I do this so much. It's not really something I have to think about. But there is obviously a huge difference between throwing it on time. Like I said, I'll throw it late here. You see the cornerback pretty much catches up. Now that Mike Evans is lit up, he's probably still going to get a little bit of separation. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll make a mistake here just to get that to get that off. As you can see right there, we throw it too early. It's a mistake. So like I said, it's really that's really what this is all about. When it comes to man coverages, it's all about throwing this 
on time there like i said a little bit late on time doesn't quite get the separation that i'm expecting but that's pretty much the look this play can even work against man cover too but in that scenario i find it's best to motion this guy in you can see you're not going to get pressed now you're going to get a little bit more separation and then you can see i mean the safety is going to be there a lot of times to prevent you from a touchdown but you can see i mean it's still going to be a play now i know personally i run a lot of cover four cover four quarters cover four match uh this gives that play problems too so we're going to pick cover four quarters at the top there so any cover four quarters, cover four palms, anything like that, you're going to get a one-on-one -on -one out here. And if you throw it in timing again, you're going to have a lot of success once again. This is another one of those routes that just gives plays like this uh, a lot of trouble. A lot of routes that or a lot of plays like this that I use don't typically beat corners as bad. They typically beat the safeties like this. But you can see, I mean, this is just, it's instant separation. And I'm going against some of the better um, secondaries that I can find. So there's no reason that, um, you know, this should be getting open like this. I'm not sure what cornerback he's torching right now. But like I said, it's all about timing. You see right there, I mean, I, I, that that was a little bit late, but he still got open. So at the end of the day, it's all that really matters. Um, but this is a very good play. Uh, as you can see, like I said, throw it, into, throw it in the uh, throw it in the break, and you're going to have an instant open, uh, very big catch and run that a lot of times will result in one play touchdowns. Now, I did hit a home run against uh, cover three or cover four. There's a couple plays that do cover three, uh, but the PA bunch shot is probably the best because it does uh, both. It does cover three and cover four zone. So we'll go ahead and we'll pick that. On the defensive side, we will start off with cover three sky. It doesn't really matter. I've heard people say, um, you know, what about cover three match? Is this going to work the exact same way? whether it's cover through sky or cover through match now this play you have to be off center you have to run this to the open side of the field some plays i show you have to run it straight from the hash marks this particular play just as long as you're running it to the open side of the field slightly off center you're going to be fine this play will work so all you have to do for this play is motion this guy in i made some motions on the previous play so it shouldn't really give anything away motion him in put him on a streak then I'm going to put the RB route on a drag. That's pretty much all you have to do. You have to drag the uh, RB route or this play won't work. And then I'm pretty much just waiting for this guy here to bite on the crosser. This is something that I've put out multiple times uh, so far. I'll go to the replay to show you guys what to watch for. But this is the same as the DB freeze glitch that I've been using in a lot of different formations. Where essentially you're just watching this cornerback. I mean, the way cover three is now, they typically follow any streak in their area. Uh, but for some reason, they have really bad reactions to the crossers. So when this guy gets into his area, he essentially stops. Uh, and I don't even wait for him to stop. I mean, all I have to do is wait for him to slow down. If he gets to a point where he starts to decelerate, that's pretty much when I'm throwing the ball. So like I said, if I go back to Tom Brady here, just watching that cornerback go up the field, the second he starts to slow, I'm already loading up bullet and pass lead away from the safety because at that point the safety's job pretty much is to take over he's way out of position though but that's kind of how these D these dbs are communicating in the programming they're basically saying it's the safety's job and that's just way too late i'll go ahead and i'll do it again like i said this guy here this rb route he kind of looks like he's on somewhat of a dragging you know it's a short route but you have to drag him if you don't put him on a drag the the secondary won't react the way that they're supposed to react so just keep that in mind so like i said here we go one more time like i said I like to, to, to go in the direction of the throw just because it shortens the throw, but you really don't have to do that. You can see how easy of a one-play touchdown is against cover three. And then last but not least, we got cover four. Now, this is cover four drop, not cover four, um, you know, quarters or cover four palms where they follow. Cover four drop doesn't react the same way as those defenses. So we'll go and pick that. This play here, I mean, you know, pretty much the same idea. I'm going to drag the uh, the RB route. Then I'm just going to put the B route on a smoke or a hitch, whatever that is, and then block my, uh, you know, block everybody once again. So this is pretty much the look. Uh, and then this is just going to bring those safeties down enough that this X route gets inside of it, and you can see we're going the other way. I don't know why he didn't catch that. I don't know <laughs> what happened there. We'll go ahead and we'll do that again. Um, you know, but you can see he was passed. I mean, the bottom line is that that's all that really matters. Is he easily got passed. So I'm sliding my protection as well uh, because, once again, I like to roll in the direction of the throw based off of the fact that um, it just shortens the throw. It, it makes it easier for guys that don't have a ton of arm strength. Uh, and then I've shown this concept before, too. I mean, this is a, a common concept. Um, you don't make that motion. That's about the only thing. You leave them out there. If you motion them in, these safeties and cornerbacks will pick up on it. But basically, these short routes will make these guys drop down, which, you know, they basically stop reacting. There's nothing in their area. So they, they just kind of stop and, and, you know, play short. And this guy here is just going to come screaming across, obviously. Once he gets inside of this safety, that's all I need is that little bit of separation. And I just bullet and pass lead away. If I go back uh, to Tom Brady here, 
you see I'm already loading up. I mean, I don't have to wait for anything outside of him getting across that free safety, and it's just a bullet in a pass lead way. And you can see how easily we get another one-play touchdown against cover fours. He's going by, you know, good five yards. So I'm going to go to my end of the video there. If you guys want to see there's more plays from this, if you guys want to see him at a later date, uh, maybe, you know, a couple weeks down the line, sometimes I save this stuff. But if you guys want to see these in a future video, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Or you can check them out, all of them on my Patreon now or in my Join Now community tab. Uh, links in the description below. And that's it. Other than that, thanks for watching Man Wish It Out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.